I don't care that it's August, there's candy corn at Walmart, so it's basically fall. Hello friends and welcome back to Animal Crossing! I am Peachy Llama here on YouTube and today we are back on my fall and winter core island of Wind Lake. It's been a long time since I've played and even more so since I've been on this island. I've been dealing with some burnout lately, which I know a lot of us have in the New Horizons community. I have a ton of ideas for Amberino, but there's just so much I feel like I can't do until the fall that I'm kind of a little stumped. I don't want to time travel so far ahead on that island. So I had a thought. I remembered in April when I released the work in progress dream address for Wind Lake, I said I would have a final dream address for the fall. I kind of forgot about that until now. So since fall is my favorite time of year and that's all I really want to do in Animal Crossing right now, I've decided that we're going to jump ahead on Wind Lake and get started on the final dream address. So here's my current to-do list. Remove all spring related items. Update the cherry blossom picnic to a Thanksgiving party table. Consider redoing Deer Mountain where Fauna and Eric live. Update the beaches, fallify the fountain courtyard in the shopping district, become best friends with Diana and Julian to get all reactions, move out Diana and Julian to empty out my move-in queue, villager hunt for Teddy and Maple, and then update Teddy and Maple's yards. For today, I'm going to go forward to the fall and start cleaning up the island of all the spring-related items. All right, so before we um, jump into the fall, and I think Sherb wants to leave, is that is that... No, no, he's actually all right. All right, good, good. I thought he was like sitting there thinking. Hello, Leaf. I want to um, get some pumpkins and I figured I should go ahead and harvest all the pumpkins that I do have. I don't think I need any of these bushes. I don't need pumpkin starts right now. So just wanted to see what Leaf has, but I think it's a good idea to go ahead. I think harvest all the pumpkins that I do have before time traveling so that when we get back, there will be a ton of, well, we'll have like two rounds of um, pumpkins, basically. I might, that might means I have to come back the next day to water them all, but, oh, hey, Fauna and Diana are here together. That's so cute. Looks like Fauna's kind of stuck there though. Interesting. I actually need to go this way into the fall winter festival and we're gonna just pick all of these so let's see what do i have in here nothing great <laughs> and so we're gonna harvest all of these and then i'm going to water for the next three i'm gonna come back for the next three days and just water these so that we have them and they can grow back and they'll be ready for the next harvest when we get to the fall and gives us more options for just having a stock of uh, pumpkins because we're going to be building a lot of pumpkin structures i'd say i still gotta do something with this overflow oh man i forgot i guess i gotta add that to my to-do list is figure out what to do with this mountain section right here that's kind of been left to be overgrown it definitely needs to be fixed because it still looks so plain when you just look at this right now it looks so plain i want to fill in the space with some more trees up there for sure I definitely wanted to make it like a hiking spot, so maybe I'll just make it a spooky area. I still love this, it's my favorite. And so this is the this is the um, fountain courtyard I wanna update to make it more fall. Ooh, that's a new color. This is a new color. I've never seen this color before. Yes, I'm buying it. That will be so cute to put out for the fall. I saw the new trees that they've added in the update that they have already added more items for the fall season in the game, which I'm very, very excited about. So we'll be, we'll definitely be checking that out when we get to the fall time. Cause I definitely want to add a bunch of the spooky trees everywhere, right? All we got to do is come back the next couple days, water these some more, so we have some extra pumpkins and yep, we have a visitor at the campsite. It would really suck if it's someone good though because we haven't finished getting to know Julian and Diana, but I'm still curious. Still very curious. You know how you can have people visit your islands to pick up uh, villagers in boxes? I think it would be really cool. Okay, Eric wants to leave. Um, I think it'd be really cool if you can invite other players to your island to invite the campsite villager to their island if you don't want that campsite villager. If that is a thing, please let me know. But um, I think that would be really cool. 
Flick is here. He's my favorite. Oh, I bet a bunch of you guys got the little Friends doll. Um, little figurines for Animal Crossing. I got the one from GameStop that was like six bucks or whatever. That was like, they'll give you a random, uh, a random character and they gave me Flick. So I'm down. Flick is my favorite. So I was very excited to get that. All right. Who is it? Oh, it's the cute blue pig. I don't remember his name though. Hugh. He's cute. Alrighty. Let's go water the pumpkins. It's raining and it's definitely not as fall as I need it to be. <laughs> They're all gonna be like, you haven't been on the island in months. Yes. No, you're not taking my street organ. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I saved a sack for you, but when I forgot pockets and I sat on it. Oh. Sounds good, little buddy. Oh my god, I love him so much. My absolute favorite, for sure. Oh, you came back, but well, where did you go? Oh, Diana is so sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. How are you doing now? Uh, I'm thinking I can't. I don't know if I can let Diana leave. She is so perfect. Oh my god, I might. Uh, we might have some trouble with letting Diana leave, honestly. I may have to keep her. I might have to keep her. My favorite Nook's Cranny. Oh my goodness. Let's see what's inside. I'm really hyped to see what what items we have in store. Nothing really new, but this. <gasps> this, 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 this. This, this, this. I've been wanting to buy one of those for so long and they've never shown up and they finally did. Am I gonna use this stool anywhere? I don't know, but how much is it? Oh uh, no, not for 5,000 bills. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Look at this. Okay, okay. So this is a cute little outfit I put together a while ago. I just changed the color palette of one of the dresses I'd made a while ago. And then I added a little scarf accessory. And I think it's perfect for our new time on the island. I wanted to get rid of the cherry blossom petals and replace them with leaves. <laughs> Three months. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. You guys are so cute, though. Okay, so we're definitely going to change these out. We're going to do different flowers, if we do flowers at all. I was thinking about having be completely surrounded by pumpkins, maybe. That's, that's a thought I had. And then also maybe even make it like a darker um, fountain. But these, these gotta go. This is the area I'm thinking about updating as the um, Thanksgiving area. So that's, that's a thought I had. This might not be enough space for what I do. So I may just redo all of this over here. I was thinking about redoing this whole thing because I'm not super happy with the Zen bridge and I'm just gonna like not have a Zen area after all on the island, but I may still leave the bamboo here, I think, but we'll see. Thank you. 
So once I cleaned up the island of all the spring decor, I wanted to start on the courtyard in the shopping district. My goal is to create the perfect fall seating area by the fountain surrounded by pumpkins, almost like a pumpkin picking area. If you'd like to create this courtyard with me, you'll need to create an 11 by 7 square of path with the following items. 12 stone fence pieces, 4 spooky fence pieces, 4 street lamps, 2 fortune cookie carts, 2 iron garden benches, 2 cypress plants, 1 trees bounty arch, 1 fountain, 4 spooky towers, 4 spooky lanterns, 3 spooky lantern sets, and 2 orange tulips. So I know if you are building this courtyard, I'm kind of way ahead of you because I'm just editing a courtyard I already had, but if you go ahead and make that path square of about 11 by 7 and fill it in, I don't have it filled in yet because I wasn't sure if I was going to, but in the end I do. So just make a full square and then if you put the street lamps on either corner, then outline the walls as I have. This will kind of get you started. I don't keep all the walls of the stone this way, I kind of change it up as I go. Um, but this is me trying to figure out exactly where the pumpkins are going to go. I figured out a thing with like having the lantern set in place but then sticking a lantern on top of it and just made a nice like gradual elevation to the tower which is really nice. So I definitely recommend that. So I got a good idea of like the symmetrical shape of what I'm going to want, which is nice. Um, so I'm really glad about that. And I still played around with the back here, but again, wanted it to be just a gradual layering all around and then having the archway just made a cute little entrance to it. I really like that a lot. I end up changing the benches to be black. So keep that in mind if you're going to be rebuilding. And I had someone bring in the uh, extra um, fortune cookie uh, cart for me because I did not have it before and I replaced the ends of the stone wall with the spooky fence and then I put one in between the uh, in the middle of the walls on the side as well eventually as you can see in this uh, clip here I definitely have the spooky fences around and I add in the black fences and yeah now I'm replacing the ground with the um, with a custom design um, just to make it a little different feel free to do whatever you want with this design but I hope it helps you in your fall decorating and give you some inspo because I'm really really happy with how it turned out it might be really cool to do a black and white one so if any of you do this design and do like a black fountain and like maybe black and white tiling or whatever let me know like I think that could be really neat even doing like black and white pumpkins or even doing a green pumpkin or all yellow pumpkin if you guys do any of those like variation of pumpkins and themes let me know I think that might be a really cool way to change this up so it's not just the same for everybody I definitely am wanting to make sure that my villagers can walk through these areas so I do try to make sure that everything is pretty easy to move around you're not having to jump too much that's really important that's always been really important in my builds so hopefully you guys will appreciate that as well and there we have it I love it so much I think it looks so so cute I hope you guys can build it yourself and have fun with it and make it your own Again, send me any photos of what you happen to create either on Instagram or Twitter, whatever you are available to send photos in. I think it'd be really neat to see what you guys come up with. Good luck and have fun and, and happy spook time. I think that's all we're going to get to today. If you enjoyed this spooky start to Wind Lake's final dream address, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to be notified the next time I post. Thank y'all so much for sticking around with me the last few weeks. I know it's been hard, but I'm so excited to share more content with you all soon. I love y'all so much. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!